Hello, everyone. Welcome to our Quick Talk series, Quick Answers to Trending Topics. Today's very important topic is on bike and pedestrian safety. I'm Allison Serco, the Regional Director of Community Outreach with Hackensack Meridian Health. We are very grateful to have with us today Christine Frugroyd and Patricia Patty Bonitakis from uh, the Pediatric Injury Prevention Team from Hackensack Meridian's Children's Health. Today's information that is discussed is educational in nature and is not intended to be taken as a specific recommendation. If you have any personal questions or concerns, you should speak with your primary care physician. So we will get started. Thanks, Christine and Patty, for joining us today. Thank the you. First, Thank the you. First question that we have is when do I need to wear a bike helmet? Okay, Allison. So this is a very important topic. Um, in New Jersey, it is actually the state law that anybody under the age um, who is 17 or younger must wear uh, a bike helmet. And it is very important that the bike helmet fits properly, is clipped, um, and is also free of any damage, um, such as being in an accident prior um, or being thrown on the ground. Um, the bike helmet should be worn for short trips or riding on the driveway. Um, and this is for bikes, electric bikes, electric scooters, skateboards, roller skating, um, and inline skating as well. Christine, what about if they're older than 17 years old? So the recommendation is that people of all ages wear helmets. So this is um, parents, grandparents, um, but it is the law for anybody 17 or younger, but we do recommend everybody wear a helmet. Got it. The next question is, where should I ride on the road? So a bike is actually considered a vehicle and must follow the rules of the road. So this means that you can ride on the right side of the road with traffic. Wait, Patty, can you ride on the sidewalk? So if there's no pedestrians, then you could ride on the sidewalk, but pedestrians do have the right of way on the sidewalk. So if there's people walking, then you should ride in the bike lane. And if there's no bike lane, you should ride as close to the sidewalk as possible. And it's especially important to be aware of cars backing out of driveways or parking lots. It's also important to follow stop and yield signs as well as all traffic signs. All right, the next question is, how can I protect myself on a bike? All right, well, this is a very important question as well. So there's several ways uh, you can protect yourself, such as wearing uh, bright clothing, because uh, you want the cars to be able to see you, reflective vests, anything that is bright, um, wearing closed toe shoes. So in the summertime, not wearing flip-flops or sandals. Um, you wanna wear your sneakers or some type of sh um, shoe that is closed toe. You wanna ride in a single file uh, line. You wanna try to avoid riding at night or in bad weather. And you wanna make sure that your bike is working properly. How do you make sure it's working properly? Well, the ABCs of the bike riding. What are the ABCs? All right, so A is for air. You want to make sure that your tires have air in them. Uh, your brakes, you got to make sure that your brakes are working, um, as well as the chains. So the chains that um, go on the bike, you want to make sure that they're attached properly, not hanging down, um, or not broken. Um, there's also hand signals that we use to alert the drivers of the path that we're going. Awesome. And just for reference, the hand signals, I'll back up a bit with your left arm. It's your left arm out to the side and down to signal going stop to signal that you're stopping. If your left arm straight out, it's the signal that you're making a left. And if your left arm is up like this, it's a signal a right turn. You could also use your right arm to signal a right turn. All right. The next question, where should I walk outside? So when you're walking outside, you should always walk on the sidewalk. If there's Patty, no, what, yeah, sorry. Patty, what if there's no sidewalks? If there's no sidewalk, you should walk either on the grass or in the street, but very close to the, to the side, to the curb. And you should walk against traffic. So why do you want to walk against the traffic? So unlike the bicycles, you want to walk against the traffic so cars could see you. And it's always safest to walk in a park or an outdoor track rather than on a road or a highway. The next question is, what is the safest way to cross the road? You should always cross a busy road at the crosswalk. What does a crosswalk look like? So it almost looks like a zebra path. So it's black with the white stripes. 
Uh, there's usually a sign. Sometimes it says stop, pedestrian crossing, um, but they usually will look like a path and have some lines down it. Um, you want to follow the traffic light colors or listen to a crossing guard if they are present. If there is a crossing guard, you want to make sure you cross where the crossing guard is. Um, if there are signs that say walk or stop, you want to watch those signs. So if it says walk, you will walk when it says walk. And you always want to look left, right, and then look left again when you're crossing. And it is, is illegal in New Jersey to jaywalk. What is jaywalking? So jaywalking is walking across the street, not in a sidewalk, because you could be walking in between cars and other cars passing not see you or stop. Got it. All right, the next question is, what else can I do to be safe when walking outside? So the most important thing to do is to avoid any distractions when you're walking. So I shouldn't walk on my cell phone? No, definitely not talking on the phone or texting. You don't want to be reading anything or listening to music on your earbuds. You also don't want to walk at night or with dark clothing, similar to how you don't want to ride your bike at night or with dark clothing. It's important to walk with a friend or family member. Definitely always much more fun to walk with a friend. Yes. And in case something happens, you want someone there with you. You should never talk to strangers when you're walking. And when you are crossing the street, you should walk at a brisk yet comfortable pace. Thank you, Christine and Patty, so much. That was very informative. And on this last slide right here, if you ever need pediatric emergency care, we have the two children's hospitals, Joseph M. Sanzari and K. Hufnayin Means Children's Hospital in Hackensack and in Neptune. So again, thank you so much. This was very helpful. And thank you all for taking the time to listen in. And please visit our website at HMH for you.org slash events. And you can find out more information about any upcoming programs and different um, information on health. So thank you again. Enjoy the rest of your day and please stay safe. Thank you. Thank you.